Bamboo is actually a really cool material that you can put to use in woodworking projects. That's because it comes in great big boards like this. They're nice and wide, they're totally clear, gorgeous straight grain, and amazing nice warm color too. So we're just gonna step through everything that you need to know in putting this to use in one of your projects. Plus I made this shelf, I'm gonna show you how I built that, and of course, how I finished it. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's do this. Hey, thanks for checking in. My name is Mark. I'm from Woodworker Source. We're just your friendly hardwood lumber supplier. We've got three stores in Arizona where you can come visit us. Plus, you can check out our website at woodworkersource.com. Pick out wood, buy wood online, have it delivered right to your door real easy. So your mental image of bamboo is going to look something like this, but it can actually get cut and processed into a board that like that, that's just so much more suitable for woodworking. Bamboo hits a really nice sweet spot for decorative woodworking. That's because the material looks and acts a lot like solid wood, plus it stays flat over the long haul. So you can cut it, you can shape it, you can route it, you can sand it, you can sculpt it, you can carve it, you can stain it, you can finish it, all that stuff. I'd say it most closely resembles white oak in that regard. On the hardness scale, this is harder than walnut, harder than mahogany, so it's plenty strong enough for your furniture projects, while still being a nice, workable material that looks great. As with any wood, there's a couple of considerations that you gotta think through, and when you finally raise a saw blade, you start getting to work on your project. So in my experience with bamboo, the biggest issue with this stuff is how it splinters when you're cross-cutting it. You've got a few ways to prevent splintering when you're making those cross cuts. The first one is to get yourself a fresh zero clearance throat insert for your table saw. Make that cut that way. Plus on your miter gauge or your cross cut sleds, you're probably gonna have a fence on there. Like this one's all mangled up. Best thing to do is to go ahead and replace it with a fresh piece. Or if you don't wanna do that, just grab a scrap piece of wood, throw it down right there to back up the cut make that cross cut and that'll prevent the splintering really nicely. You wanna use a high tooth blade like 60 teeth, 80 teeth when you're gonna make those cross cuts too. And then with the miter saw, the principle is the same thing. You wanna just take a sacrificial board, put that down on the saw and then lay your work piece on top of that, make the cut and that'll prevent splintering on that bottom side. When you need to rip bamboo down a different width, you can get away with just a general purpose blade. That's all I used on these cuts. Experience no burning like you would experience on like cherry or hard maple, plus the cut really came out nice and clean. And when you're routing bamboo, you just wanna make sure you take nice shallow cuts and take multiple passes to ensure a really nice final result. When it comes to shaping and carving by hand, it's really gonna test your strength because it's really hard wood. But doing it so on like small parts and little things, it's not too bad, but I would still recommend using powered methods when you can. Bamboo is awesome and it's really receptive wood to a lot of different types of finishes. So I thought, let's just take the guesswork out of this, test a whole bunch. We're gonna do some clear finishes and we'll do some stuff that really accentuate the grain in other ways. Kick it off with de-wax shellac because this is just a basic clear finish that's a really simple one to put on. Easy to use, okay? choose bamboo if you like that nice sleek look and you like that nice medium color that it offers. But once you have put this to use in a project, you're going to really appreciate the way you can manipulate it, cut it, shape it, do anything you want to it. Plus, you really don't need to worry about any cupping or twisting like you do in solid wood. This stuff just stays so flat. Anyway, if you like this shelf that we made, stick around. We'll show you how we made it.
Okay, so that's the story of bamboo as I know it. My name is Mark. I'm from Woodworker Source. We sell woods like this to people like you. We'll ship it right to your door if we're going to. Anyway, got any questions? Just post them below. We'll be happy to answer. Thanks.